All right, welcome back everyone. We're now in the basics of HDLC. This is how they're breaking it down for us. They want to break it down, break it down, break it down, but they're just saying the same thing over and over again, all right, for the WAN. Now you saw already when we did the little lab in the packet tracer in the previous that HDLC is the default, okay, the default protocol for WAN links. Now all data link protocols perform a similar role, okay? To control the correct delivery of data over a physical link of a particular type, right? Whichever it is. Now, HDLC has less work to do. Why is that? Because of the simple point to point. You saw it in the lab. It was point to point topology, right? So, a lease line, right? Uh, like the one we just saw, there's, there's something called, you've heard of it, the ISO standard, right? Is the backwards of the OSI, the ISO created the OSI, all right? The ISO standard uh, is, uh, is a standard for HDLC that does not have, and this is the problem with HDLC, it does not have a type field. And routers need to know, remember we talked about the type field, type of packet inside the frame. So Cisco routers use a Cisco proprietary variation of HDLC that adds a type field. So let's stop right here. Let's stop right here. What does that mean? That means that the HDLC, and this is in the previous CCNA, is in the new CCNA. The HDLC is proprietary to the vendor, the manufacturer. So if your HP, if your F5, if your gateway, if they're still around, if you're whoever you are. Okay, Cisco, HDLC, they create their own type field so that data link layer, they can read what type of network layer they're using. It's proprietary. So you can't run a Cisco router with any other router if you're using HDLC because you're not going to have communication. You're not. Okay? But by default, all right, with uh, HDLC, it does create a WAN link, all right, between routers, all right, so they can forward packets for the, okay, and I'm slowing down so you understand, devices on the attached LANs, okay? These lease LANs itself provides the physical, the lease lines, again, I'm going to say it again, the lease line itself provides the physical means to transmit what? the bits in both directions, all right? So the HDLC frames provides what? The means to encapsulate the network layer packet correctly so it crosses the link between routers. So what are the benefits to that? Well, the benefits that HDLC has, that it has such a long life that still, even in the new CCNA, we have HDLC, because in the WAN marketplace, these lease lines are simply widely available and I guess high quality, right? Because of the fact that they will, okay, they will use, you know, they have that, hey, I purchased 1.544 megabits per second and by God, I'm going to use 1.544 megabits per second. But again, HDLC has its drawbacks and I just said it. You cannot run it with different vendor routers. And sometimes in a network, that's not uh, feasible because you may have multiple types of routers. And if you're running layer three switches, they're doing routing. Well, they better be the same from the same vendor because if you're running routing, hey, HDLC, data link, layer two, right, of the TCP, right? So we have to make sure that if we're going to use HDLC, everything has to be the same equipment, okay? That's the problem we run into when we deal with HDLC. All right, in the data link layer, and they don't have a type field. They don't have a type field. I want to say something else about that. In your certification, in your certification, things that you may see, okay, things that you may see in your certification is just that. They may tell you, hey, these two routers can't talk to each other. What is the deal? Probably because you have. Uh, one router is running HDLC, one router is not, or one is a Cisco router and one is a non-Cisco router and they have a serial link in between. 
So these are the things that you want to look at when it comes to this, because essentially it's the same thing as the old CCNA, okay? That they have that information. Okay, here they're just spitting it in a little different one. They want to, you know, get closer to the data link, show you the TCP IP model and things like that. But anyway, that's it. That's all, there's, that's all there is to that, okay? For HDLC, proprietary, that's the key word. That's important. It is proprietary to each vendor. HDLC does not have a type field. Each vendor has to put it in there for it. So you have to have the same vendor type if you're going to use it. See you in the next one.